Hello everyone. Welcome to my review. Today, I'm gonna to be doing something totally new. I'm gonna to be reviewing a pair of denims. That's right. I've never done denim a denim review before, so go easy on me. I know that there's probably some good denim re reviews out there, so I, I don't wanna mess this up too bad, so I, I have my resources with me, just in case I stammer and stumble a little bit. What I'm gonna talk about today is my first pair of selvage denim. I got these from Context Clothing in 2014, so it's now 2018. So these are going on four years old, actually. Pretty cool. Um, this is a brand called uh, Japan Blue. This is a special pair to me because obviously it's my first pair. All right, so a little bit on how I got these. Context Clothing, they're a really cool store. They're a brick and mortar shop. They sell Aldens. Well, I bought a pair of their Roy boots, reverse tobacco chamois. It's a, it's a rough out leather. I talked about that one in my uh, vintage indie boot review. So I bought that pair of boots from Context Clothing, was they issue you credits. I had about $50 worth of credit. So I think basically the amount of money that you spend at their store, they give you about 10% back in credits. This email came to me one day, oh, hurry up and use your 50 or 60 credits before they expire. They, they, they have pretty uh, expensive denim, but it's, it's all good stuff. It's all selvage, um, selvage raw denim that they have. Um, and so I started looking at their, their Japan Blue line. They also sell Momotaros. They, they, sell, they sell Tender and Company. Those are really expensive. But um, so I thought, you know, what the heck? I have these credits. Why don't I apply them to raw selvage denims? I, I know there's a lot of hype about it, and I was reading about it. I've seen all these, the, these style guys. They're into boots, but they're also big into selvage. And so I said, okay, well. I gotta see what this hype's all about. First, I'll, I'll read you what, what Context Clothing has to say about Japan Blue. So they say, Japan Blue was founded in 2010 in an attempt to redefine denim manufacturing as we know it, while remaining true to longtime superior craftsmanship of Japanese jean makers. The five pocket jean has a simple yet modern silhouette and is specifically designed to fade and gain comfort with each wear, showing the unique history of, of the owner. Japan Blue has mastered fabric design and jean manufacturing. Um, another thing I want to mention about these, and I didn't learn this till just now, Japan Blue is brought to you by the legendary Japanese denim company Momotaro. I did not know that they were related, but apparently they are. I also own a pair of Momotaros, and I'm definitely going to do a review on those here shortly. So these, these were about $200. And so using my credit, it knocked it down some. One thing that I did not realize about ordering, this was quite the humbling experience for me, ordering a Japanese garment, is that this whole concept that I never knew existed, it's called vanity sizing. Well, if you think you're a 32, I've got news for you. I said, oh, I'm a size 32 in all my pants. So I'll just, I'll order a 32. These things came in 32 and I couldn't even button them. I couldn't even get the button shut. That's how tight these things were. What is going on with these? Are these supposed to stretch or something? I, no, it's not. It's supposed to be sort of snug. It's not supposed to be that tight though. You're, you're supposed to be able to at least get it buttoned. And so I emailed Context Clothing and they were more, more than happy to set this pair aside for me. I, these, are, these are a size 33. I sized up to a 33 and they, they fit perfect. They, they, these were perfect. 33 going up one inch made all the difference in the world um, but but yeah that 32 I, I couldn't even button shut it was it was ridiculous and so I started looking up what vanity sizing is basically it, it's a way to make American consumers feel less fat context clothing they had me measure my best fitting pants sure enough the measurement on those things came to 34 inches 34 and a half inches on my 32 inch pants why are my 32 inch pants 34 and a half inches? Well, that's because I've been lied to my entire life and made to think I'm skinnier than I actually am. So <laughs> it's very humbling, like I said. Same thing happened when I ordered my Momotaros. When you're gonna buy some Japanese garments, typically the US vendor will provide you a description. Now this is important, they'll provide you a description of that exact batch. So you can't say, oh, I, like moving forward if I'm gonna buy another pair of Japan blue blue jeans I, I can't just say oh well I was a 33 in this pair of J Japan blue jeans 
one I ordered from Context Clothing, so I just must be a 33 in all Japan blue blue jeans. It's not true at all. If you look carefully when you're shopping for this stuff, you'll see each shop will give measurements of each batch of jeans that they get from, whether it be from Momotaro, Japan Blue, Pure Blue Japan is another brand. Actually, Pure Blue Japan gets mixed up with Japan Blue all the time. They're two completely separate brands. Another example would be Samurai Jeans. There's, there's all kinds of Japanese denim brands uh, being sold in the United States right now. And you have to look at those measurements because from batch to batch, they vary and it's random. It's, it's complete chaos. <laughs> Leads to a lot of confusion. And I actually, I, I ordered my Momotaros and I had to send those back as well. Um, that, all, that was a whole fiasco. I'll get to that later in another review actually because it's too long to talk about. Be prepared if you're gonna order something like this. Be prepared to do your research, to know your true measurements, measure your garments that fit you the best and then and then go by that because they're gonna have you're not just gonna measure the waist you're gonna you're gonna measure the thigh here you're gonna you're gonna measure the, the seat your seat basically from from this to the crotch you're gonna take your leg opening measurement you're gonna take a lot of measurements you're gonna take your your inseam measurement which is the inside crotch to the, to the uh, opening of the pants you're gonna do all that and and it gets pretty technical. I mean, it's it's not it's not an easy process. Um, and it, I was definitely frustrated, but it's always good to work with work with a shop that's that's friendly and willing to collaborate with you. The guys at Context were really cool. Like I said, they set my perfect fitting pair to the side so that nobody else would snag it. Because again, this was a limited run. They didn't do a lot of these. What I found most intriguing, and what did ultimately convince me to get this pair an actual article written about this specific makeup on the Heddles website Heddles um, and I was fascinated okay so these are called the Cote d'Ivoire cotton jeans that yellow white and green that symbolizes the Cote d'Ivoire flag the white and red that symbolizes the Japanese flag I, I love that I love the symbolism there I think that's brilliant I think it. I think it's amazing. It adds to the the story of these. The article talks about so in celebration of unity between Japan and the West African country of Cote d'Ivoire, Japan Blue Jeans collaborated with the Ivory Coast to create a special pair of jeans. Japan Blue Jeans and Cote d'Ivoire wanted to keep the jeans simple, stripping away details that might detract from the jeans' unifying elements. Um, harvested and handpicked in the Ivory Coast. The cotton used for these jeans has very long staples, which gives the denim a unique texture. Because the cotton has been harvested and picked without the use of machines, the cotton comes in a form that is much closer to its natural and original state. On the inside of the jean, you'll find that the pocket bags have been screen printed with silhouettes of Japan and Africa. The left details the characteristics of Cote d'Ivoire cotton, while the right details the characteristics of Japanese production. We use 100% Cote d'Ivoire cotton. This cotton has good character for jeans. Pure breed of cotton, long fiber, soft feeling because of organic farm. Hand picked so we can be spinning very soft twist. The denim fabric made doing this are very comfortable and soft, also becoming good fading. Awesome. And then on this side, it talks about the Japanese stuff, which again, I love the symbolism here. This is so cool. Japanese jeans quality are best in the world because of proficiency, craftsman skill, making jeans. Their spinning, drying, weaving, sewing skills are awesome. I do agree. But we, we choose Cote d'Ivoire cotton. Yeah, Cote d'Ivoire cotton is most wild cotton in the world. Jeans made by Cote d'Ivoire cotton is also wild in the world. Nobody can make the, these wild jeans other than Japanese craftsmen. I think that's just awesome. Amazing. Um, okay, I love I love stuff with detail. You can just tell that these were made. Every piece of this was put together meticulously by experts who were passionate. These weren't made in some factory by the by the thousands and shipped off to Walmart to be sold for ten dollars a piece. These are special, and I think everybody needs a pair of special denims. I, re I really do. The selvage is the most apparent display of unity and contains the colors for both Japanese and Cote d'Ivoire national flags like I was talking about before. Since both Ivorian civil wars, 
Cote d'Ivoire has struggled to rebuild. In 2006, Japan Blue Jeans began a charity program to help in revitalization. Through this smaller collaboration, Japan Blue Jeans will donate 1% of sales to the Embassy of Cote d'Ivoire in an effort to help in progressing the development of the Ivory Coast, especially their cotton industry. This fabric is 13.5 ounces. It's a tapered fit, and I'll talk about that in a second. The selvage is the most apparent display of unity and contains the colors for both the Japanese and Cote d'Ivoire national flags. And then I do want to talk about the fit of these. So I actually went to my tailor and had these tapered to be 14 inch leg openings. Before that I think they were 15 inch. Are the That blue stitching along the inseam there. It, what's cool, I love turning these inside out after I wash these, and when I do, I, I hang dry them inside out. So you just see the selvage strip completely all the way up the leg. I don't know why they don't do the selvage on both sides. So we got a button fly here. You can see the, the buttons there. The button says blue for Japan blue. All right, on the inside here, you can see all the buttons, Japan blue. The back side, all right. You can see some of the uh, some of the effects of the indigo um, fades here. JBCD Japan Blue Coat d'Ivoire. Here's the patch on the back. Waist, waist 33. It wasn't lying. I had to size up. <laughs> you probably will too. I showed you those inside patch pockets. The, the English on these is, is going to be kind of not native fluency, obviously, but I appreciate it all the more for that reason. I think it's really cool that the craftsmen translated in their own words this and put it on the inside of a jean. I, I love that. That's a truly unique touch and it, it just brings you that much closer to the, to the makers of these. And I, for, I, I wouldn't change a thing about these. I love them. My most comfortable pair of denims. They're nice and generous up here, so when I'm up a few pounds, you know, even if I gain some weight, these are still extremely comfortable. Yeah, the, the leg opening being 14 inch, that's my perfect leg opening. I know there's a lot of debate around leg openings. Oh, what's the perfect leg opening? I know a lot of guys like the, like the straight, the straight leg openings. I prefer the slim, the standard slim taper. I don't like skinny, but I do like slim. And I like the 14 inch uh, leg opening because it it really brings out my boots you know I don't like draping my boots underneath a big curtain of fabric I don't think that looks good I, I'm a big boot freak so when I wear my boots I want I want my boots to be accentuated and and I don't want I don't want the fabric from my from my pants hogging their glory, if that makes any sense. So anyways, this concludes my review of these Japan Blue Cote d'Ivoire denims. I hope you enjoyed it, um, and feel free to leave any comments. Again, I'm on Aerosurfer. You can, you can watch how I've worn these over the years. Again, had these almost four years and still my favorite pair of jeans. You, you can watch how, they, how I continue to wear these. I, I just, I love these. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next review.